Hey, what's up guys? Mike Red Fox here. In this video, we're going to get my grow tent set back up for summer. All right, so I think there's going to be three steps to this process. First, you can see my grow tent you probably saw in my previous videos. And right now, it's just been open and any heat that it is sucking up. It's coming back into the house because it's been pretty cold. It's been the winter here where I live. And so I have everything venting back into the house, into my ductwork, getting sucked up there from this inline fan. Except it's getting too hot and Mrs. Red Fox isn't too happy since the outside weather is warming up. So what I need to do is get that removed. That's step one. Got to remove that. I'm going to cap it off with this. Step two, once I remove that from there, it's gonna be get it going back outside. Up there, gotta clean that up a little bit and get this whole thing venting back outside. And then step three, which is most critical step and the tedious step is I'm gonna close this flap, right? Lock all of those in and then what's gonna happen is the only thing that's gonna be pulling in there is that fan. And I'm gonna get a lot of negative air pressure and it's gonna to try to pull in air from anywhere it can, any opening in this tent. And so I have an opening here and I have an opening there. And what I need to do, and what I had to do last year is then take these and really dictate where I want that cool air being pulled in towards. And I'm gonna tell you, it's probably gonna be up and across these cards here, so they get pretty warm. And then I didn't have these last year, so maybe up and across those as well. We're gonna to have to test some different configurations and then monitor the overall heat of those rigs. You can see, what's that? That's the 3060 Ti, that's the hottest card. We'll always show here, it's 63 degrees and 64 degrees for the 1070 Ti rig, which is fine. And if I click on this, you can see individual temperatures. Where I'd really love to be is in the 60s. I might get some cards towards the ends. They're in the high 60s, maybe low 70s. I'll have to adjust some fan speed, some different configurations, um, and get this going. So bear with me, we're gonna move on to step one. All right, here we go, step one. Got to remove this, man. It feels like I just put this up. Okay. So, I'm just going to undo this adjustable collar here. That's it. And we got this cap. Hopefully, you just fit. Nice and easy. Looking good. Nice. All right. Wow, this went so much better than what I had to put this on. Holy crap. Okay, I'm just gonna tape that up with some flex tape I have. And that way it's really easy next season when probably fall comes, I'll be able to just remove this tape, take this cap right off, and we'll be back in business again. And the uh, inline fan is off right now, by the way, and those GPUs are not happy because they're getting warm. I hear the server power supply heating up. So we gotta be pretty quick about this. That is capped off. All right, moving on. There's the outside vent. It's got like a insect screen in it. I just got a piece of plywood up here. I'll show you it on the outside once I get it all hooked up. And I'll leave links to everything that I use in the description below in case you wanna do this especially a lot of you new miners out there, when it comes summertime, it is not fun to have all that heat coming back into your house. So let me get uh, the ducting hooked up here. We'll turn the inline fan back on. We'll go outside to see what it looks like. And I'll show you how much, how much air is getting pushed out of this tent. And then the last thing we'll do is come back inside and we're gonna get the tent 
uh, all figured out so those GPU temps are in a really good spot. So I'm gonna get this hooked up and then we'll do that. All right, got it back going outside there. And I have all this excess because it's not as long as a run. So I just, I put some ducting tape on there. We'll see if that holds together. I'm not really sure what's gonna happen, but um, you can just hear the sound of my GPU screaming for help because it is getting toasty in there without that on. So let's turn this inline fan back on. This is a variable inline fan. So I'm gonna turn it on to high right now. And this will start filling with air. We're gonna see if that holds. So far, so good. And we're gonna go watch those GPU times, which I'm sure are pretty toasty right now since I've had that off for a little bit. Feels good. Uh, let's take a look. So, yeah, you can see those 36 DTIs are getting up there. And let's see, where's the 1070 TIs? Not too bad, 68 degrees. 98 degrees in the tent right now. All right, so let this run for a little bit. Temperatures are down just a bit. And what I'm gonna do now is orient these intake ducts to go really over, I think, the hotter cards up here, which are gonna be the 1070 TIs. And then we're gonna close this tent up, keep an eye on the temperatures, and see what we get. So if I remember, I really liked having this coming up over this way. So I'm going to slide this down. Cool. And I'm going to run this duct kind of like up here. And hopefully it sends in some cool air up and down over those cards. So we'll check that out. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to take this. Move this just a little bit closer. And just like shove that in there. And let's close it up. Let's see what we get here. So right now, getting air pulled in here. Feels pretty good getting pulled in there. And we're gonna watch these temperatures. So you know what, let me get this lit up. Put it like right here. So we can check it out. So I'm gonna let that mine for a little while and then we'll come back and check the temps. All right, here we are outside. You can see the setup there and just, I mean, you can hear the heat coming out of that. Brought a paper towel just to show you. All right, so it's been like 20 minutes, and I think I got everything in a pretty good configuration. Don't let that temperature scare you, by the way. That's Fahrenheit, GPUs, we're gonna look at Celsius. And you can see I got a pretty good negative air pressure coming in, the tent is getting pulled back. And that's just from all the work that the inline fan is doing, getting all that heat out. A Couple adjustments I made. So one, this tent also has these flaps on the bottom that you can open and you can see how much they open. So I just have a little bit there that's open up. You can probably see, and that's to get heat, uh, cool air sucked down beneath so it gets pulled up through the cards. And I did the same thing on that side. So I got that plus these intakes coming in. And remember, I remember what I learned last year is if I open up these too much, then these don't pull enough air to cool the cards on the top. 
but I think I have it set up pretty good right now. I'll show you inside and then we'll look at some temperatures. So you can see I have that duct coming up and that'll be sending air really just across these 1070 Ti's and out. And I just mirrored the same exact thing on that side, sending cool air across the 3060 Ti's and up and out. So let's take a look at what those temperatures are looking like for those cards and then the 16 series below. Okay, so in the tent, I have the 3060 Ti's. You see the hottest card is running 65 degrees. Let's take a look at all of them. So there we go, 63, 65, 63, 61, 55, 62. I will take that all day. Also in there, this rig with uh, 1660 Ti's and Supers on it. 57, 57, 63, 64, 59, 55. That rig is running really cool. Also in there is an 8x1660 Ti rig. This is all at the bottom. So 60, 66, 62s. So that 66 is like the hottest card, which, I mean, I'll take it. And then the 1070 Ti's are in there. Got five of them running right now. And these are old 63, 65, 62, 66, 69. That one's pretty hot, but those need to be all re-thermal pad and pasted anyway. So overall, those are really good temperatures. I wanna be definitely below 70, mid 60s, high 50s if possible. This is in my basement, it's pretty cool down here right now. And it's sucking all the cold air from the basement up through the rigs, cooling them off, all the GPUs off. And then that's all getting sucked up here and being sent right outside. So I hope this is helpful to you if you're looking to do a grow tent setup like this. Uh, this has worked out even better than I had last year because I have some more efficient cards in there. Overall, really, really, really happy with it. Highly recommend it to anyone who is doing this at their home. Maybe this is in your bedroom. Maybe it's in your living space. You don't have the luxury of a basement. This is a nice way to make it neat and tidy and also make sure that heat is getting all evacuated outside. So yeah, that's what I got for you guys in this video. Hit the like button if you liked the video. Ask me any questions that maybe things I didn't go over down in the comment section below. As always, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video.